I'm installing the new firmware update. No need to worry. What is the worst thing that could happen? Hey guys, long time no see. After all this time I have finally the motivation again to make a new video for you. Let's see how long it has been since the last video. Jesus, half a year. Woo. You probably know this too, but it's really hard to get out of this pesky winter low. I slowly think I'm solar powered or something like that. Because every time the sun goes away, I slowly lose every energy I have in my body. Or maybe I am just Koda God and I can't work if I don't have enough light. Who knows? In addition to that, I really have a lot of work stress in the end of the year and my wife and I want to have children, but nature says no. No! No! So we have to put really a lot of money and energy into the clinic and it's usually just depressing and we have hardly any time for us nice things or even vacation. So the Leica M11 was a buy to get me a little bit out of that depressing hole and to give me more motivation uh, to start in the new year, even if the price was insanely high, really insanely. And I thought it was worth it, uh, even if I had to completely give up my whole camera collection. But then the camera really had other plans. And my disappointment was immeasurable and my day is ruined. After installing the firmware 1.6, I noticed some major issues with the camera's performance. It was a really frustrating experience, especially considering the price tag of 8750 bucks. The camera is now suffering from something like dementia. Who the hell is that? That being said, before the firmware update, I had a great time with the camera. I took it with me everywhere and I used it in various settings, from capturing candid moments at the Oktoberfest to experimenting with architecture photography under overcast skies. I'm also working on my street photography skills using the Leica M11. As you could probably tell from the intro pictures, my wife and I got really into portrait photography and we got so good at it. We are now official, professional wedding and portrait photographers. Our name is Herr und Frau Nolle Fotografie, which is translated to Mr. and Mrs. Nolle Photography. Um, if you want to support us, please check out our new, brand new website with blog and everything. And our new Instagram account, please follow us. That would really help us. And above all, would us make... Would... would what, what does make? What? would make us really happy. <laughs> no matter what changes I made, they just were being saved after I turned it off and on again. And now the only setting I can use are the ones from version 1.5. Talk about frustrating, huh? Now, if you're a pro photographer and you rely on this camera for your work, this bug is a huge bummer. The camera can't save your preferred sensor resolution or your favorite JPEG looks. Even the exposure compensation doesn't get saved. It's enough to make me want to switch back to film, where there's no software BS to deal with. So do you ever had a similar problem with your camera? Please let me know in the comments below. And that's a very good opportunity to test out Leica support. Fingers crossed they can fix this mess. I searched the Leica forums and Facebook groups and couldn't find anyone else who had this bug. So I shot an email over to the software support team and I got a response on the same day. Now that's what I called speedy. 
Gotta give credit where it's credit due, their email support is top notch and super friendly. After a quick chat on the phone, I ripped up a video showcasing the error I was experiencing. Turns out, profiles created in version 1.5 are a big no-no for version 1.6 and are causing some serious issues. And get this, Leica support told me that of thousands of cameras they produced, I am the freaking only one with this problem. Yeah. <laughs> My luck. Yeah. The only solution, gotta reset the camera using a software developer tool, which means sending the camera in for repairs. Once the repair department was done with me, my request got forwarded to the shipping department. And that's where things started to slow down. It took a whopping four days before they even got in touch with me. And let's be real here, for a company like Leica, like we are the greatest of all. Um, and the kind of prices they ask for these cameras, I was expecting a little bit more efficiency. And I mean, we are talking about the most expensive full frame camera on the market after all. No, it's not. What? It's not the most expensive anymore? When they finally got in touch, they offered to ship it via UPS. But here's the thing. UPS is notorious for being the least reliable shipping company around, at least in my area. And UPS have the dodgiest little pack stations known to men. Like, you know, the ones I'm talking about, the little crappy little beverage stores you can smell from a mile away because it smells like cigarettes and booze. And <laughs> and let's not forget about insurance. If the package goes missing, who knows how much they actually cover. Definitely not worth the risk. Alright guys, what did I do now with this M11? Well, I've managed to get the camera partially working again, but let me tell you, it was not an easy feat. I only discovered it because after I changed the resolution of the camera, I turned it off and it was a slight delay of one or two seconds and after that I could make changes in a short time and with a 50-50 chance I also could save it. And after two months of dealing with the semi-defective state, a hard fix has finally been released and I'm sure all of you are curious now whether the problem has resolved. And in short, yes it has! <laughs> the only thing I noticed was uh, I once wanted to save a profile and the camera resetted itself, but after that it ran really smooth and I could save all the settings I want to have, all the presets I want to have, all the users I want to have, like <laughs> it should have been all the time. But I also can tell you not everything was fixed because in two photo sessions I had bugs uh, where I had to remove the battery like this before the camera was running again and I don't know if a camera in this price segment should have this kind of problems, really. <laughs> For me, it's really crucial to have a reliable connection to my camera because, especially with the rangefinder, this has to be an extension of my eye and of my arm <laughs> because everything is manual. And to think twice if I can use this camera or not is really disengaging. And yeah, I don't want to think about this camera like this. So I hope they get all the bugs fixed in the future. I really hope it. <sighs> Finally, after all this time, I can do a review of this camera. I think it will not turn out too well for Leica because I have several points that I do not really like. If you don't want to miss the spectacle, then consider subscribing. See you then. Bye.